ಕಾಂಚಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ how to put them for drying and how to make your bedding how to keep all your things in the cupboard nicely so that way he had been a very good god brother to me although he was training and introducing to various aspects of devotional service he never made me to feel his presence that somebody is overseeing you or vigilant about you or any such things in fact i would feel very secure and nice that i have a very good elder brother who is guiding me and i was always waiting when he would you know correct me or try to help me out in those aspects so in this way prabhu had been very very uh, considerate and uh, uh, very uh, merciful towards me and prabhu was also a very silent worker although when i was there in iskon bangalore he was collecting very nicely and consistently we would never get to know much about it he was doing his duty very nicely on his own in sometimes he would share few ideas or ways how we can make people krishna conscious and in that way by making krishna consciousness they get enthused to give some contribution to our organization so, so he would always encourage us to make people contribute by making them krishna consciousness in fact i particularly remember when we had gone to hyderabad Uh, to make few members because few people from hyderabad had visited iskon bank then they registered for membership so balance amount we had went to collect there first two days we couldn't raise any donations because people who, who had registered they had uh, I, they were either not available or they had not wanted to do the seva so then there was a marwadi who had registered for membership and we went to his house seeing that this marwadi is well to do prabhu proposed in the higher seva so in that way made him the bigger member and then uh, he inquired about his brothers he had some three four brothers having various other business in hyderabad so he asked him why don't you make them also member so let them also get the mercy of lord krishna so in that way we visited all his brothers and made all of them members all of them became members and he invariably introduced all the family members to chant the holy name of the lord we had taken a few malas and mantra card and he made them also chant hare krishna so in that way prabhu had been a very good preacher also and apart from that prabhu was very good in sharing i remember on go next day of govardhan puja we all had got the cakes and i had finished my cake on the previous day only and uh, i asked uh, prabhu had stored his cake and i asked prabhu prabhu can i get this prasadam can you share it with me so he gave the whole piece to me only you eat i don't want i tried uh, no asking in prabhu let us share let us take little piece so prabhu was very reluctant to give the whole piece to me and not only that he was even sharing his contacts and he was sharing many of his uh, no belongings he was very very generous in that way and i never saw prabhu losing his cool and composure at all all the many times uh, no i would i would uh, behave in a very wrong way or uh, no i would so although there were so many inconvenience i would uh, cost to him uh, yet he never lost his cool or composure he would always tolerate whatever inconvenience we cost to him so in that way provide been very inspiring me to how to be maintaining your composure in my life and he was very strong in krishna conscious also in last few years we know that he was going through very bad health whenever i would go to iskon bangalore i would meet him in guest house although he was undergoing so much of pain and inconvenience he was he was always having japamala with him trying to chant as many rounds as possible and he always had a tilaka and always had 
been maintaining his Krishna consciousness. In that way, he was very strong in Krishna. He never left. He never lost his faith in Krishna. And Prabhu was also very smooth and sensitive in his dealings. Although there are certain works which are to be done, which are either urgent or emergency or must do works were there, you would convey them in such a way that that you would never feel that somebody is forcing you to do anything. Yet you would always mention about its urgency and need. So we would be becoming self-driven to do those works. So in that way Prabhu had been very very merciful in my initial days of Krishna consciousness. Few of those qualities had been, although I am not able to inculcate them fully, but they are a guiding principle and an encouraging factor for my practicing in Krishna consciousness. So I take this as an opportunity to convey my regards to Prabhu for whatever the help he has done to progress in my Krishna consciousness and inspire me. And uh, I would never forget a very important role he had played in my Krishna conscious life. Hare Krishna.